Ma'am, what did you think of what you saw? When we went into that building, I, we were prepared. We had briefed ourselves. But when we went in, we were struck completely silent, all of us. It was, it, it was more than we had imagined, yes. Much worse than you thought it was. Yes, it was. Now, we're not really talking here about deliberate cruelty, are we? We're talking about a cultural problem? Yes, I mean, there is a, a big stigma still attached to disability. Now, what happens? Is it the old story of children going in at a very young age and then being just forgotten and put away? Yes, they have this categorization. Each child with a problem like this, with a disability, is categorized at the age of two. They then go into Demiakapia and they are not categorized again, so that's where they spend their lives. Because we saw you in the report last night talking to adults who seemed to be able to communicate perfectly well about uh, what had happened to them. <coughs> They are categorized into various areas of disability, but all areas of disability go to this same place. Now, we saw staff in the reports there. Are there enough of them? Are they trained at all? Are they, are they paid properly? It's a low-status job there still. No, they are not paid adequately for that reason. The staffing is very low, again, for that reason. And the morale there is very low, again, for the same reason. Now, what can be done, bearing in mind what you said earlier about it being a, a, a cultural thing, not, not a cruelty issue? Well, we, we noticed um, the Macedonian government have actually asked for four more volunteers. We already have volunteers there. But for four more volunteers from VSO, the Voluntary Overseas Service Overseas, to go two to work actually in Demiakapia and two to work with the ministry. And perhaps not advising is, that's probably the wrong word, because they themselves know that they've got to get this right, but assisting. I think VSO wants to assist them implement the plans that they already have in action, really. And people in this country, if they want to do something to, to help when they, when, when they see the situation, what, what, what should they do? Well, there is two things. We are launching an appeal. The first thing, Demi Capia had no pictures. It had, it had nothing. They weren't even, there were no chairs for them to sit on. They just sit there. So they need stimulation. They need pictures. They need chairs to sit on, uh, music, toys, uh, clothes. They're all shaved heads. They all wear the same pajamas. And to make them individuals, to give them clothes for a start would be wonderful. And then the second stage would be funding, helping us to fund these four volunteers as well. And his voluntary service overseas are yes. hoping to do that. Indeed. Yes. Ma'am, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.